Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the one only Nick's Games, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make high quality thumbnails for your YouTube videos. Now first off, I am going to be using Photoshop, and a lot of you are probably going to be like, well screw this, but wait! I want to say that you have to get Photoshop, guys. Photoshop is just as important as your video editor when it comes to making YouTube videos. YouTube is about quality and Photoshop allows you to make high quality images and thus it allows you to make high quality thumbnails. Nevertheless, once you download Photoshop, like I said, the investment is worth it. Once you've got that, you can go up here to File, New, and then you can go into Film and Video Preset. So preset, click that, go down to Film and Video, and then from there go down to HDV slash HDTV 720p. Click that and then click OK. It will then give you something that looks exactly like this. What do we do with this blank slate? Well, it really depends on the video you're making. But I'm going to give you some general guidelines in this video on how to make a high quality thumbnail. First off, I am going to be making a thumbnail for a blast in the past, a series that I make every single week. This time I played Halo 3 and I'm going to go about making that thumbnail. Along the lines, I'm going to give you guys some general tips and tricks. So first off, we need a Halo 3 logo. Now luckily, I already have one downloaded, so I'm going to go up here to File, Open, and then from there I can go to Pictures, Photoshop Work. From Photoshop Work, I can go into Photoshop Renders. And then I can go down to my Halo 3 render right there. So here's this. Now, as you'll see, this is a big image. We want our logos and things like that that we use in our thumbnails to be as big as possible. The bigger, the better. If you have to scale them down, that is great. Now, as you can see, this is so big, it doesn't even fit on the freaking template. So hit Command or Control T. And then right click or and then click over here and hold shift and then drag this down to about right there. We can then drag this up to the top because the video is on Halo 3 and it makes sense that that needs to be one of the primary focuses of the thumbnail. And there you go. Now anyone who sees this thumbnail on YouTube is going to know it's a Halo 3 video just by looking at the thumbnail right there. Now actually depending on the background we may have to go into more in depth with that but there you go. So there's that. Now we need to add our text which in this case is carrying my team to the win. So, carrying my team to the win, exclamation points. And now I'm going to hit Control A. It's going to highlight all that, and I want to make this text black for now so you guys will be able to see it. Now, nah, I spelled carrying wrong. That's embarrassing. I think that's right. You know, I honestly just don't care. I'll check it later. But carrying my team to the win, Control A, and then we can make this big using this font character thing over here. So we can make this big, bigger, 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 bigger. We need it to be huge. Don't be afraid to make your font in your thumbnail extremely, extremely huge. I'm talking 200, 300 font sizes. And as you can see, it's actually off the page now, but there's no stopping this thing. It's out of control. So now that we have this, I'm going to choose my font of choice. In this case, it's going to be Babus Nuo. There's a lot of good fonts. This font right here, Hel Helvetica, is really good. Um, there's, a, there's a ton of good fonts. I even have a Halo font that if I do say want to you know, make this into Halo, I can. So we select it all and then go to Halo. We can actually change this into a Halo font. Let's see, it looks a lot like that. But I don't want to do that with this thumbnail. So let's go up here to Babus Nuo. And I did have to download this font. You can just d Google awesome fonts and find a ton of great stuff. But um, we actually need to make it bigger because this font size is, uh, is smaller than the other font size we were using. And so as you can see, make it bigger, make it bigger. And I actually want to get that kind of spacing. So we have most of the words on the bottom and then that on top. Click that, and there you guys have it. Now, that looks decent, right? I mean, that's actually still a pretty ter terrible thumbnail in my standards. But for a lot of people, that's a really good thumbnail. Now, how do we make this look even better? Well, actually, we need to click back on this with the text tool and then select everything again with Control-A. Now, I'm going to stretch this text. Some people would say this is heresy. Don't do it. But I think that the thumbnail needs to be full. It needs to have a lot of, of stuff going on. It needs to have everything mentioned. So we're going to make this about 130% bigger than it was previously, or longer than it was previously. So now we can take and move this down a little bit. 
and I think that's a lot better to fill out the page just a little bit more. We can also go ahead and hit italics over here to make all of this font italicized, which I also think looks a little bit better, makes it look flowed and, and you know slanted, and I like that look. Also, we can right click on this and click blending options. Now, the reason we're doing this is because you want your thumbnail to be clear. Right now, it's kind of dark. It's kind of hard to see. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to click color overlay, and we're going to put a white color overlay over it. Now, why would we do that? We can't see it. Well, because we can then go into stroke, and boom, there it is. Now, I'm going to make this stroke really, really heavy, and I'm going to go probably about right there or so, about 7 stroke, and then we can also add a drop shadow, and then make the distance about there, about 14 out, and as you can see, that adds a little bit of effects, and if we zoom out here, we can see that no matter how far we go out to about, let's see, right there, it's hard to see it at that point, but anywhere from there up is great to see, and I mean, that's 12.5% 12 12 of the maximum, which is much smaller than what a YouTube thumbnail does. So there's that. Now, this background is too bland for me. So how do we get a background for a video that we've just made? Well, it's simple. We go into the video itself and down and get a screenshot. So here's a blast in the past. Let's go ahead and open this up. And I'm sorry if you hear some noise of me talking and all that awesome stuff because, uh, well, that sometimes happens. But as this opens, we... Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and jump cut until this is completely open, and oh, it opened instantly. My bad. But anyway, we can now just kind of click through here randomly until we find a cool screenshot, and I think that looks really cool with the grid and everything like that. So then we can take our handy little image capture, Gyazo. If you can download that at gyazo.com, G-Y-A-Z-O.com, and you simply highlight whatever you want to capture, click it, and bum, 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 it's going to open my internet browser, and I'll meet you guys whenever it's done that. So once you've gyazoed your image, you're going to see something like this. Right-click on it, save image as, and then it doesn't matter what you save it as. It really doesn't. Just hit save. So once you've saved it, it'll download the image and all of that awesome stuff. And you can close out of your web browser. You can also close out of this video. And this folder, we can close out of it once we go to our desktop or wherever this screenshot downloaded to and drag this into Photoshop. Once we've dragged it into Photoshop, we can then go Control A to select the whole entire image, as you can see, all the way around, and then Control C. We then come back over here to our blank slate and hit Control V. Now, oh my God, we can't see our text anymore. Nick, what do we do? Well, first you hit Enter. After you hit Enter, you can drag this over here in your layers down to the very bottom, and no need to fear, your text is back. So there's a background that's not as bland, but what about this halo? We can't see it at all. Well, we can do the same thing we did for carrying my team to the loss, or to the win. We can do that same thing for Halo 3. So if we go up here, and we right-click on the Halo 3 logo, and then we go Blending Options, we can then add a stroke to it. I'm going to add probably a 7 stroke to kind of keep it consistent. And uh, we can actually make this stroke white to give a little bit of an offset. And then if we add a drop shadow... It'll, it'll make it look really good in my opinion. Now, a lot of this is my opinion, but now that my thumbnail is done, I'm going to give you guys some really quick tips as to how you can make your thumbnails look good in general, even if you don't follow the same style. First off, you want to make your thumbnail clean. Don't clutter it up. Don't put a lot of into this. It wants to be simple, but at the same time, it needs to describe what your video is about. Thus, Halo 3, thus the title of the video. Also, make sure there is something in your background. A plain white background is not going to work. However, a wave background of like a bunch of colors can work sometimes. But you do want to avoid dark reds, dark greens, blacks, anything like that. Any dark colors, I would suggest avoiding. They're going to run together on YouTube. They're not going to look good. Also, really bright yellows don't look good on YouTube either. Besides that, it's really just a creative taste thing. I've given you kind of a general tip here as to how you can create your own thumbnails and this will get you started, but you have to learn Photoshop. You have to get in here, you have to get down and dirty, and it will be worth it over time because making thumbnails is one of the most important parts of growing your YouTube channel. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out. Peace. And here's some videos you guys might want to go check out. On the left is a blast from the past Halo 3 in which I went back, played some Halo 3, had some fun, pwned some noobs, go check it out, and on the right is I'm getting a gaming PC. 
go check out that video in which I talk about why there's not been any Minecraft videos lately and why I am getting a gaming PC and the specs and all that awesome stuff. It's a great video. I think you guys will really enjoy it, especially if you like PC talk. So go check that out. Nevertheless, guys, I'm Nick's Games. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I'm out. Peace.